Good evening, I'm Jill Del Greco. In tonight, Jenna Deary. Our top story tonight, forget the Silicon Valley. One local man is hoping his brainchild could put the Miami Valley on the map and maybe off the grid. New Center 7's Lair Livingston is live now to tell us how. Hey, Jill, of course, as you know, cars and trucks, of course, news cars and trucks use a lot of gas, which is why there are tons of gas stations on just about every corner. But we met a guy out of Inglewood, Ohio, who is hoping to change all of that. Chris McQuinney could soon be known as the Steve Jobs of the Miami Valley. Today, he took us for a ride in this hydrogen fuel cell SUV. It's just solid power to the ground. Fueled by hydrogen he captured, generated, and pumped, himself. We have proven that we can build infrastructure to fuel cars and make the hydrogen on site either at a gas station or at your home. Chris's idea has been hush hush for more than two decades. Now he's ready to let everyone in on his tinkering. This is what we call the arc. Um, this is 55 cells. Putting it very simply, Chris and his business partner discovered a way to use wind and solar energy to create hydrogen. The hydrogen gets captured, fed to a tank, stored and compressed inside a hydrogen gas pump. And then we can open the door, and when we open the door, here is our fueling nozzle. To refuel fuel cell cars, this one's on loan from General Motors. Carlos Franca is with GM Research and Development, who's been with Chris for years now. He says full-line fuel cell production is in GM's future, but... The main difficulty that we have to go over is the infrastructure. Chris is now looking for investors and partners to expand what he's done on this farm near Brookville. So you don't have to buy power, you don't have to buy gas, you don't have to buy diesel. You can make all your fuel at home clean, sustainable, renewable. This technology is here today and could be everywhere else tomorrow. Now, Millennium Rain Energy is the name of Chris's company, and he says 17 of the 21 vendors that he uses are right here in the Miami Valley. He says if his concept catches on, it could be dozens or even hundreds of jobs for this area. Reporting live in Dayton, Laird Livingston, New Center 7. Hey.